Fellow viewers, welcome to another segment of our view on 54 Connects. We have retooled and rebranded for reasons you will come to understand as we evolve. I am Chiodon Gumba, your humble host. It may come as a pleasant surprise to our viewership that we are back after a two-year break. I was devastated by the brutal killing of Comfort Timasang in Muyuka by the now dead fighter Charger. Just to clear the Comfort Timasang story, take a minute to listen to the conspiracy against us. This is what we gathered from our initial investigation. We are not your door. You remember me? You want my own Azuzu? Yes. Okay. Me a corner for advice. And I want me to hear my advice like a big brother. We will not get courage. Now, why are plenty of people for Jasper that they only make that noise? We will not get the courage. We will not. Eh? Yes. Now, we will not get the courage. We will only make that noise. And now, we will not fight for we. But one thing they charge away, it will mess up this revolution if we not take care. I want to take and say, you feel be where you the fight for year, your family there for some different place. For war, charge up for war, you get things and way they get to be followed. That's why you hear they say, POW, prisoner of war. I understand, say, when I no get place, when I keep black leg. Why when I no go beat them or when I even leave them? Why they get for kill the person brutally? Like which way your boys and do and why? I'm not doing I'm a boy as Now you do I'm okay. Tell me why, Charger. Uh, a black leg. Na black leg. Yes. Okay. What did that girl do? I know say you I hear you you wanna ask you say they be don't warn you. What did that girl do? Tell me. Uh, they don't sleep with army bar before we army them. And I found out they sleep with this. If not very dark kill it, they come on our barrack. I was already sleeping time or out on morning time. So all the thing them, huh? Eh? Yes. I already know. Yes. So now the woman has said that morning that I can't take it so. Okay. But then, yes, even if they want to go to home, but... Go to home, but when they start telling me, so I'm going to talk to you around them. If I start to say, I'm going to get them, they used to come. They didn't have to go to home. I don't know why they had to get them. They used to say, I'm going to get them, they didn't come. They didn't have boya, but they don't know them. They don't know our face when they come up boya, so they can't body. You get, you get the video where he give all this information? Yes. Send them for me. Well, you know, if you send them, none of them pull them on our channel. Because they go the whole way. When my dog young can have... This is the evil plan they concocted to counter the real facts. Listen. A guy who want to be a journalist or investigator who calls this guy in Moyoka and say, Hey, you know what? Uh, you agree to committing those crimes. I put 10 million in your hands to support you. Support you so that because you guys are doing a great job. And the guy in Moyoka goes ahead to accept it. And uh, it becomes the narrative. A lot of public runs with it. And before you know, before you know, La Republic is telling the world that Ambazonian separatists, they did it. Their newspapers, the Guardian Post, which we have banned, ladies and gentlemen, they come out screaming with the headlines, Ambazonian separatists have killed a woman, and so on and uh, so forth. Uh, I want to ask uh, all of you, all of you here uh, on this platform, what do you think this was a setup that this guy in Houston, Texas, would have to call this guy, promise money in his hands, and then the guy accepts it, and then the narrative goes on from there? You think this was a setup? In, uh, uh, Barista John, let me start with you, please. Yes, it was a proper setup because it was part of the narrative to show that this thing was done by our boys. Let me, tell, let me tell you what uh, uh, that, that idiot in Houston did. He called this guy, the guy, the guy they called General, 
Ngomba. Chaja. Is it Chaja? Uh, Chaja, Muyuka, yes. Yes, in Muyuka. And tells him, I will give you 10 million if you accept that you are the one, you and your boys did it. And this uh, charge of an idiot, whether he wants money for what, whether he wants, he said he wanted the money to buy his, uh, his material. I'm not sure that charge is working for the restoration process. At any rate, that's a story for another day. Right. This guy accepted. And then the 10 million was not paid. The guy is now screaming. And uh, my understanding is that we have laid a hand on him and 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 uh, and let him tell who are the boys that he used. And he is saying he was fed up. They wanted to give him ten million, and he accepted. He was not at the scene of the incident. He knew about it. He saw he saw the incident happen, but he was not at the scene. I mean, it's part of the narrative that the Republic is looking, is shopping for, shopping for evidence, shopping to put it on, on the restoration policy. But they don't know that everything they do backfires. That is what has happened. This charger man is a very good witness that we intend to preserve for the ISIS. I hope Bo is listening to me. The charger man is in the keeping of the restoration forces in Muyoka, and we will be taking him as a witness for this atrocious act that the Republic has committed in Muyoka. Because they thought that they could win him to admit and they use that admission to say that it was the restoration process. But they forgot to pay him. <laughs> that is the catch. <laughs> they forgot to pay him and this guy is now denouncing and, and cursing them and threatening that he will cut. Uh, what is that man's in Gumba? What? Gumba. Gumba Jedo. Yes. That he, when he sees him, he will cut off his head. He will kill him or whatever. Chacha, as Chacha is going to tell us at the ICC what he knows. But this crime in Muyuka and others cannot go without the courts, the International Court of Justice, looking at it. Uh, Bishop John, uh, I think Bo, I mean, no, no it was uh, Barrister John who mentioned uh, he doesn't know whether this guy in uh, Muyuka who uh, received this phone call from this uh, uh, mortician in the in Houston, he doesn't know where he's indeed uh, a genuine restoration fighter. What do you know about him? Uh, Secretary Chris, you know, for the sake of investigation, I don't want to say very much about uh, this young man. But this young man, as uh, if it is the charger that we know, he has been uh, uh, somebody who is fighting on the ground. He took over from uh, General Wazuzu. So he's somebody we know that is one of one of us. But you know, as these boys are on the ground, things can happen. You just heard him that he thought that we will have money. I don't know by this time, all Amazonians should know that La Republic is broke. Before La Republic is promising you 10 million, you think that you are going to get the 10 million, you are a fool. <laughs> La Republic hired lobbies in the United States, they could not pay them. La Republic is coming, even the Westerners because of this we have made la republic to bleed money and blood la republic is bleeding money so all these people who think that they are going to make deals with la republic and they will get money they are deceiving themselves there are many like this who are being deceived like uh, 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 Chris, on false promises false promises that la republic is giving them and maybe la republic will take a couple of uh, some thousands and maybe 50 or or 25 thousand and give them they begin to be happy that la republic will come and give them 10 million or 1 million it is a very big, big fat lie. To add more credibility to our stance, listen to how they gathered and planned to destroy the truth. Yeah, uh, I'll Yeah, listen. Uh, have you spoken uh, recently with the China, you know, China? Yeah, yeah, I'm the guy keeps on talking. Why can't you stay quiet? No, I'm not. 
He did an interview with Clovis the other day now. No, no, no. I gave him the information from Clovis. He talked to Clovis. Or you gave the information to Clovis? Okay, this is, I'm going live today, this is the angle we have finally agreed upon. We have uh, agreed that this is what I'm putting out, in which I would like you to speak him to him to know, uh, so that he should not go out opening his mouth and saying anything. Uh, because we have, we have tried, to, we've tried to, craft it, to craft this in the way that uh, uh, we look we look like we are trying to get to the bottom of the thing in the eyes of the international community. So, uh, we are stating that uh, he coming out to claim that uh, he did the killing was induced by Jodo Ngumba, who, who has promised him uh, some uh, support. And he talking to, uh, he talking to Ngumba, he was saying that Ngumba was one of uh, uh, the leaders out here in the diaspora, and so he accepted. He, so and so he uh, told Theodore that he did it only because uh, he thought Theodore was going to send them uh, support. Uh, to I mean, Theodore had promised him to send them money to for more to buy more equipment. So, which is which is the reason why he uh, he accepted to Theodore that he did it. So we have stated that, uh, and the actual case, he did not do it. He was not at the scene of the event. Uh, the videos are there. Uh, people can look at those videos, and they realize that this guy was not the one. He was merely induced to say that he did it. However, the guys who did it were actually boys serving under him. You understand who are restoration uh, forces. So we are sitting that we reprimanded uh, this guy Chacha, and once we reprimanded him into custody and began interrogating him, the guy that he was vouching for, who are carrying out the act, have called it, fearing that. Uh, our drug net, our drug net will get to them too. Once we have charger in our custody, you understand that? Yeah. yeah. So we say that the guys have funded once they found out we have uh, charger, their commander, uh, in our custody. Uh, they have funded, and as of now, he has see at last. So this is the angle we are taking, and then we are saying that we will hunt them and smoke them out wherever they are. Of course, I'm this is an empty word now. Yeah, we will hunt them, we will smoke them out, and they will receive due justice for the killing. So I'm, I will try to brief you so that when I go live, uh, these guys, they don't listen to you on ground zero and start uh, another version of the story. So if we're possible, call him, let him know that this is the angle we're putting out, I'm coming up with it. Uh, we're, we're protecting him, uh, we're covering them. They should not open their word and say a thing. No, no, we are already aware. If you see, we both you can see, we send our audio to us and then we need to close because we are already assigned to him. And he's aware because
I just wanted to give you a head up on this so that you shouldn't come as a surprise when I go up and through. So uh, let me, I'm trying to edit, time is not on my side. Let me quickly finish editing this. Okay, um, okay. So what, what, what are you, what are you like? 7 p.m. Your time. actually initiated a defamation lawsuit against Chris Anu and his ABC alias Alphabet TV. However, we are taking it slowly, hoping that the light of truth will shine in their eyes and wake them up. We are well aware of the statute of limitations and may choose to escalate at any time, conscious that they cannot defeat the truth. The bad news for them is that lies are like firewood while the truth is golden. Firewood can rot or burn, but gold will not. They have created an extensive network to fight the truth and us by extension. When we tell the truth, depending on who it is against or who it does not favor, we are immediately tagged and labeled as black legs or supporting the separatists. We continue to be attacked by both the government and separatists. Either way, we are only interested in the truth and the people who we'll settle for nothing less. Myself and my team had to take a step back and reflect on the best course of action to inform and improve our people's situation. On a positive note, we want to extend an enormous thank you to all the kind donors who have continued to support Comfortimas as children to give them a better future. We can confidently assert that Comfortimas as children are faring well, especially with their education. We'll continue to do our due diligence as we promised from day one. Today, we'll delve into the death of Oliver Lekiakia Fobene and the sum total of its repercussions. In his recent outing confirming the death of his brother, Christopher Fobene Anu titled his show, Good Night Phil Marshall. In reality, he should have dubbed it Good Night to a Criminal and thank God for all those who are free from his evil actions. The fact of the matter is that the majority of the people in Lebialem are jubilating today because they no longer have to worry about this criminal and his activities. You can see a lot of rejuvenation today in Menji. Everybody is so happy. You can see the rejuvenation in the man.
Marshall is no hero. He is an absolute zero. Anu is aware of the people Oliver kidnapped for ransom and the young girls he and his men gang raped. The desecration of the people's cultural heritage, the killing of the chiefs in Eso Atta, and his boneheaded enthronement as king of Lebialem. He banned schools in Lebialem, thereby depriving countless number of children from getting their rights to education. Meanwhile, Chris Anu's only daughter is comfortably pursuing her academic goals in the U.S. How can we forget the countless kidnappings for ransom, beginning with Professor Tambo? Field Marshal or the now dead and rotting carcass disrupted commercial and business activities, making life hell for the people of Lebialem. The S.Y. Bangwa people, who are reputed for their 99 cents, were compelled to deal with a revolutionary fighter turned terrorist in their midst. Instead of fighting for his people, he joined evil forces with Chris Anu to make the struggle a business enterprise and an opportunity to become famous. Anu used his brother as a ritual sacrifice to gain fame and get paid. As the head of communications of the interim government, Chris Anu designed and implemented an elaborate scheme to utilize propaganda to enhance the status of his brother and make money. According to him, Phil Marshall killed thousands of soldiers in Lebialem. It is true that he killed soldiers, but the casualties were excessively exaggerated. Here is the coward shedding crocodile tears for his brother. I can say good night to, my, to FMA, my brother, the Ambazonian hero. Lebialem says good night to you. Ambazonia stands for you. And bid you a good night too. And should you happen to meet Indele and Jua, Shangu Focha, Abed Mukok, Pa Ayaba, Mula Lituba, and all the patriots of Ambazonia who went ahead, tell them, tell them, you led a generation that will redeem them. Thank you, good night. Chris Anu may one day have to face the wrath of the children born from the many women that your brother Phil Marshall raped. It is not our fervent wish, but it is only a matter of time before one of those innocent children who are now fatherless because your brother is dead or were killed because of your lie and greed, seek and carry out revenge on the entire Forbene family. You are well aware of all the evil perpetrated by the terrorist Phil Marshall. However, you never attempted to put him on the right track because you cared more about the money and the fame you get from the struggle. You sold your brother to the devil and are now shedding crocodile tears to use that as a ploy to get gullible people to send you more money. Unfortunately, some idiotic bandwagoners will continue to support your evil agenda. You used lies to boost your brother's status and get money. It is a glaring fact that propaganda is part of war. However, propaganda has never won any ground war. It may sway the minds of the people for a while, but eventually, all such fallacies will fizzle into thin air. It was okay for Oliver to ban Brazzari's products, but drink his 33 export. Believe. Believe them. Mufi Masha of Ambazonia. Umo wo. So I'm going to the 9th July. In go go move. And then I was very surprised. Abo will be them. And thank God. I'm on this day. For them. Mama, Hypocrites pretending to be freedom fighters. Anu is aware the Red Dragons only exist in name. They have no fighters anymore. They have either been killed, arrested, or simply quit fighting because of Anu's lies and misdirection. We are giving Chris Anu and the rest of his team the opportunity to tell the truth 
before we complete our investigations. We will not give them an ultimatum. But Chris Anu lied about how his brother was killed. The truth now say, they use Nambata stick, knock that a dull head, like how Calabar people did knock dog for arranged pepper soup. I also want to make this very important reminder. We seek the truth and we settle for nothing less. We cannot and will never be corrupted to take sides or attack and destroy any person or entity. Our prior productions attest to this golden rule of ours. We also want to extend a big thank you to all those who have assisted in our investigation so far. We continue to receive messages and phone calls on a regular basis. The young and the old alike have even reached out with financial assistance because they miss our episodes. We are officially back and will continue to do our best to investigate and to shine the light for our people. Our view is proposed to provide investigative reporting content aimed at presenting the truth to our viewers. Thank you all once more for your time and stay tuned. <laughs>